Good afternoon, welcome to my uh, pitch for my final major project. I'm going to be doing a documentary on virtual racing, otherwise known as sim racing, as uh, recommended by uh, Mr. Hewitt here. Um, I've, I chose this, I chose this um, particular aspect because it's something that I'm interested in and something that I believe I could do well in. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. I plan to do a documentary on sim racing as for my final venture project and my aim plan to include these topics. The history of uh, virtual racing, so we're dating somewhere from like the mid 80s or up until now. Um, online competitiveness, uh, we're going to be dating on how it's not really uh, competitive since the 90s until like it became like full like full blend of competitive action until like the mid noughties. Promotion, uh, we're, we're talk be talking about broadcasting as well as um, proper sponsors in virtual racing because there's ac there's actual sponsors for actual for for um, miniature teams out there. For example, um, a, f a couple of years ago, Red Bull, the, uh, the actual company Red Bull took over one of the uh, teams in the, in the GVWC called uh, Street Fighter Racing Systems, which are known now as. Um, Red Bull Street Fighter racing systems, basically. Um, I'm going to talk about different racing equipment, what the costs about, um, like different steering wheels, different like rigs. I'll be talking about those. Different simulators. There's just more than one simulator out there. Trust me on this. Uh, different mods. Well, you, well, you can do them. Different driving styles. Everyone has a different driving style, including me. And um, we're also going to talk about different moments in racing, different controversies. There was one particular controversy in the GBTWC a few years ago when when the driver was going to win the uh, championship, the top tier, but uh, after an overruling by the uh, owner, turns out to not be the case. So those are the things that we uh, focused on. The recording process, uh, I'm going to be using the recording, pre recording facilities here in college as well as at home. College here yeah, because, well, it has the necessary um, facilities to do editing, as well as um, recording like um, up close shots, as well as the green screen room in here. And I'm going to be doing it at home because I have the necessary technology at home to try and record it in uh, simulation to, to try and record uh, simulations, which we which we don't have here. Um, estimated percentage is going to be forty percent at home, sixty percent here. I can I can alter this as the uh, recording process goes on. Uh, this is my schedule, as you can see, uh, 3rd of April already I'm doing the pitch, uh, because I'm going to be doing the uh, research for that, which I'm already into. Uh, getting permissions for like uh, getting footage, music sorted as well. Interviews, I'm going to be trying to conduct interviews here and at home, that's going to take some uh, time. During the half term, I'm going to um, gather as much um, Driving footage as much, as much as I can. I can just be purely at home. Camera footage here, then I can do editing both here and at home, and um, just finalising the project and the evaluation should be in the last couple of days. So this is what I plan to for the um, documentary to be uh, round in. It should be ten minutes minimum. Thirty minutes it will be capped in and. I'm planning an 85% success rate because sometimes when it comes to uh, projects that, now, nowadays, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get it up to 100%, but we know it's sometimes that's not going to be the case sometimes, so I'm going to aim for a minimum of 85%. And that is pretty much it. Does anybody have any questions? You're 85%. Yes. Is this is this is this a quick break? So you look at your work and you think it's a disaster. I look at your work and I don't see the same thing. I don't, I don't see it's a disaster. So I think at the end of the process you need to have independent people who yes. aren't, who aren't so invested. Okay. So don't think, don't set out thinking you're going to have a disaster. Yes, but sometimes work cannot be be perfected. It's 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 a, it's an understanding that isn't it. It cannot, it cannot be perfected, so that's why I'm aiming for like 85%. I, I, I know some people think my, my work said, oh my god, this is absolutely glorious. But, but, we, but we know it can be improved on. 
okay. we know it can be improved on. I say go, in, go into it fully just optimistic. Doing the best you can do. Yeah. Yeah. And don't put a percentage on it. Yeah. Just do the best you can do. Yes. And I've seen it and seen some of your stuff. I like this. I like this idea. I like that you're going to do a documentary. Mm -hmm. For me, the holes are where you're going to get your research. Your research, you're going to research the stuff, but where's your inspiration come from? You need at least th three, 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 practitioners. three practitioners who are doing this. Yes. So that needs to be in your research work. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the big problem is you haven't actually got any research time on your schedule. You haven't got any planning time on your schedule. And you've got no pre-production time on your schedule. Okay. And they're three huge areas that should be taken most of the time. Yes. Can you just take a, Can you just take me back to your um, schedule? Schedule site. Right, so your pitch proposal research is one week. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's this week, isn't it? I can try and change the getting permissions and try and actually add on to like pre-production, or does it need more than? You, you definitely need your pre-production. I can help you with that. Yes. Okay. Documentation-wise. Your research must come first, really. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. the research should be done throughout the entire unit. Oh. And yeah. the planning needs to be considered throughout the whole unit. Okay. But but basically, Ronnie, as a guide, I mean, Julie's right. The research needs to be cut. As you're going through stuff, you'll be revisiting stuff and going, oh, there's that. And you might rethink and then do it, see a bit of research and think, oh, I'll make that present. Even if you're halfway through it. Yes. That's what Jules means about the research, you constantly adding, revisiting. Add into your planning. So as things come up, you might think, oh, I need to look at this now. So put it on your plan, give yourself a deadline, do the research for it. Yes. Record the research. Uh, um, I mean, it should be a journey rather than, I'm going to research now, now I'm going to make it, and now I've done. It shouldn't be like that. That sounds more important, I would say, than your finished product. Yeah. All the actual how you're going to get there than the finished product. Now, we, we can help you with that, but as a rough guide, you've got eight weeks roughly. If you split those weeks up, so many weeks for research, so many weeks for pre-production and planning, so many weeks for do it and evaluation. As a rough guide, yeah? Yeah. So you need to get your schedule right, mm -hmm. and, and, and Jules is right, your research needs to be, you need to be on that now, yes? yes. So three practitioners who do this type of thing that you, you want to do, mm -hmm. look into them first, okay? So when you go back there, have a look at practitioners who do it. Okay. Yeah? yeah. Has anyone done anything similar to this product? I can't recall. <coughs> I can't recall no. They, um, but, I, but I will. I, I will have a look into it. If you look at Click, BBC Click. Yeah. They've dedicated whole programmes, but also segments. And the Gadget Show, they've done segments. Yeah. So that's two um, that look specifically at, at this sort of thing. Two um, two practitioners. Well, yeah, well. Well, two types of. Areas that we co that we've covered here. Yeah. Um, but this is uh, sim racing. This is like game and racing, isn't it? Y yes. So which game? Any. But, uh, so uh, it could uh, be uh, Mario Kart. That you're no, 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 not specifically Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Just like, uh, like, like proper simulations. Not like, not like arcade. Right. Okay. What's the difference? The difference between the simulations and arcades is simulations require more in-depth detail, more um, more setup time, more trying to be precise, trying to get the try to get faster lap times and not to be too goofy about it. It's 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 much more a little bit serious than But maybe ones like you'd have like you put like a gear stick and the, the accelerator and stuff the steering wheel rather than doing it on a joint pad. Yeah. Sort of uh, yeah. Do you know anyone who's at the top of the league that you can interview or talk to? I, I'll I'll try and have a talk with a, a few people because I because I have contacted them. I'll try and get some uh, information out of it if I can. Is there um, are there conventions? You know, sometimes you know you've got like. Well, um, well, the well one particular league that I've said GPVWC has it's GPVWC Day. Which is around near the end of the year, so that is that's pretty much out of the question. But they do sometimes um, join each other at uh, real life racing conventions, like the Autosport International Show uh, back in January. Um, but like I said, that's completely out of the question because that's just gone by. But like I said, I'll try and um, have a talk 
Yeah. Do you have any forums for it? Or? Um, uh, Discord. There's Discord, which I can get in contact with them any time. Right, okay. Okay, but I mean, generally, I think you, know, you, you nail that schedule down and get your research sorted. I think it's, a, it's, it's different, isn't it? It's a, I think it's all right. I'm slightly worried about your audience for it. Because it's a documentary and because of the nature of the product, I think you would hit a wider audience within the virtual game in racing, mm. lunacy, if you focus the entire thing on hints and tips rather than a documentary. Because yeah. if I was into uh, sim racing, I probably wouldn't watch a documentary on it. But if someone put a video out there on hints and tips on how to you know, be top of the league, yeah. I'd be very interested. I'll, I'll, and I'll so would every other person who does sim racing. I'll try to add some hints and tips in. I'm, I'm going to be controversial. I'm, I'm going to... To disagree with Jules. Yeah, right, as someone who who writes technology yes. and, so, and has a, a passing uh, sort of interest in, in gaming, I was really interested in, in the idea. I'm not interested in the initiatives. I, I'm interested in the, the thing as a whole. And yeah. having seen it on uh, Click in the middle of the night and then gone and looked for it and then seeing it on the gadget show, I see it as a like a ten minute segment of something bigger, yeah. uh, rather than hints and tips. But yeah. If I'm honest, I don't mean to disagree. No, so but from no, no. from I I think that the idea, as it sounds, is a really interesting, really good one, and I I can see a market for it. Yeah. Yeah. I I I, I like it as a document. I see where Jules is coming mm. from, but I like it as a document because I'd be the same. Because I, I wouldn't generally be interested in it, but if I saw it on a program, I go, "Ooh, this this looks, you know, like the gadget show." Yeah. Because I watch the gadget show, mm. and I see stuff on it, and I like, I go, "Oh, I've never seen that. That yeah. done before." As an, and, and like you said, as a segment yeah. for a program. Because that's how I knew there was gear sticks and there was equipment involved. I I knew about it. I knew of it. Yes. Um. So I I wanted to know more, and I was sort of excited by, by your plan. Yeah. But I think you do need to get your, your research sorted and your schedule. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well done. And um, audience as well. Yes. Try and get some audience information. Okay. Try and in, you know, do a questionnaire for the audience, find out what they'd like to say and things like that. Right. All right? Yeah. Well, don't, we'll help you. I'll help you with the paperwork side of it. Okay. So, so that's, that's good then. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Yeah. Like you. So, right. Oh, God. Did I record?